Down in Washington starts tomorrow in the Flint water crisis. The hearings are going to be uh, held to find out how it happened and more importantly, how it can be prevented. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner here now with a look at what we can expect in D.C. Yeah, four witnesses will be giving testimony, including two who refused to testify during the first hearing last month. That includes former Flint emergency manager Darnell Early. What we're dealing with now is the the uh, the uh, unintended consequences of a negative outcome from that. And you could have stopped the disconnection from Detroit if you wanted to as emergency manager. Well, there was no need to do that based on the information that was received. Darnell Early hasn't taken questions about Flint since then. In fact, he lawyered up and refused to testify to Congress at the first hearing back on February 3rd. We're calling on the U.S. Marshals to hunt him down and give him that give him that subpoena. And if Darnell Early feels like he's going to incriminate himself, he could still refuse to testify. One of the committee members is Representative Brenda Lawrence of Southfield. But he's going to have to take the fifth or answer the question because the questions will be asked. Other witnesses include a former regional EPA administrator, Susan Hedman, who resigned. She also refused to testify last month. What just boggles my mind, which I don't understand and which is just intolerable is the idea that they knew about this almost a year ago and didn't do anything, didn't let anybody know. What I've heard from my colleagues is that there's a commitment uh, not just to get to the bottom of this and find out how it happened, uh, but to help make it right. It's not good enough to just say, oops, um, people need to be held accountable. And we're going to have much more on this tonight at 11, including what investigation has been done that's not in public view. And check this out. I just obtained a copy of Darnell Early's opening statement. In it, he says he was grossly misled by state and federal experts, and it would have been unreasonable to reject their guidance. Governor Rick Snyder testifies on Thursday. I'll be in Washington this week. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, we'll see you at 11.